Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline. If you haven't been here before, I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed below to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of an acne update. I filmed a video about two months ago um, regarding where I was at in my journey then. Um, so it's been two months since I filmed that video and one month since I have been off of doxycycline. And since being off of it, I have not had a serious breakout, which is kind of crazy. I addressed that once I went off of the pills that I would just be using my topical treatment, which was clindamycin. So as soon as I came off of the doxy, I did the clindamycin every night, slept with that on my face, and then I decided to, you know, get a little jazzy and do it every other night. And on the nights that I didn't do it, I decided I was going to go back in with some serums that I had purchased previously to this acne journey that I've been on. So the two serums that I've been going in with, I haven't used them together. I've only done one or the other. So sometimes I'll use this Mario Badescu vitamin C serum, which is honestly amazing. It works wonders. I love, love, love using this on my skin. It's kind of pricey. I think it's $45 for this, but there's a ton of this and it'll last you forever. Like I've had this since Christmas and I'm about halfway. The other serum I use is the Morgan Miller Collagen Facial Oil. When I think of collagen, I think about kind of the dents in my face from where I had really deep pimples. So this just kind of helps with that. Like I said, since being off of the Doxy, I haven't had a serious breakout since um, these serums have reacted really, really well to my skin, which is awesome. They've helped it more than harmed it. I guess I should give you guys a little look at my skin. I don't have any makeup on my skin. I just did my brows and put some mascara on. But other than that, I don't know if it's picking up like super harsh on camera. I don't want to get really close. I also just washed my face. So it's probably going to look a little irritated. But yeah, this is just the scarring. This side has come a long, long long way. It looks really good. So I haven't been using these serums very long to see much of a difference. I mean, I think my scars are definitely, definitely fading since being off of the Doxy. And I think a lot of it goes to the clindamycin just using that. It's helped a ton with fading. But I've discovered this new product that I kind of wanted to share with you guys. It's not a new concept or anything, but it's new in my acne journey. So I heard a little bit about jade rolling. This is the little tool. I think it's kind of one of those Chinese medicine things where you don't really know what's in it, but it works wonders. So it just has a really big jade stone on this side where I roll up like my cheeks and stuff, go up on my forehead, and then it has a smaller side which you use under your eyes. I have a really big indentation over here so I like to use it on that. So what is jade rolling? Basically jade rolling aids in collagen buildup, um, better blood circulation, and with the whole blood circulation thing, this stone stays cold. I know you can put it in the refrigerator, but it stays cold. And that kind of like shocks the face a little bit and gets the blood flowing again. But what I like to do, I've actually been doing this in the mornings. So like when I don't have to go to work or anything, cause I don't want to put makeup on with serums and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll either go in with the collagen oil or the vitamin C serum and put like a drop or two and then I'll roll it into my face basically, let that dry, and then I'll go back with a moisturizer, which I will show you in a second. But last night I did the vitamin C serum, so today I'm going to roll on the collagen serum. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit 
a little bit goes a long way, honestly. So I do like one big drop on one side and take my roller and just roll it in. It's kind of awkward at when you first start using it because I don't know about y'all, but my face is super bony and it it's not the smoothest of things. So you'll probably see that like my face where my scars are is getting a little red and pink, which is what you want because that means that blood is circulating properly. And it doesn't stay red forever, like, I don't know, maybe five minutes after you do this. I just roll until it feels like the serum is in my skin really good. And then I'll just show you really quick how I do my eyes. And then over here is where you can kind of see that indentation. So I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. You don't wanna go up and down with all of your face. I'm just doing it over here because it is such a small area, but you always wanna push up. I think it kind of tricks the face, tricks the skin into you know being pulled back a little bit. I like to incorporate this in my morning routine. So before this, I don't think I said this, but I cleansed my face and then I toned it and then that's when I, I'm doing what I'm doing right now. So I like to do it when I'm just watching TV. I mean, it's as simple as that. Overall, I'm super, super, super happy with the way my skin has been behaving, basically. I've never shown on YouTube how bad my skin really was. I mean, it was genuinely scary to look at my face in the mirror every day, and I know I was concerning a lot of people, so I am beyond glad that I've got this under control. I think, I also mentioned this in my last video, but I think after a while of doing jade rolling, I may give derma rolling a try, just because I don't think this is gonna be my saving grace to making my scars go completely away and building up the collagen that is completely gone. So I think I'm gonna do that in the near future because school is about to start. There are many, many mornings that I don't wanna wake up, put a full face on because I don't wanna show my skin. That's an ultimate, ultimate goal for me is to literally roll out of bed and go to class with no makeup on. Because I have to wake up 30, 45 minutes earlier than I need to just to put a full face of makeup on and it gets tiring. So I think I'm gonna stop because the serum still feels like it's on there and I'm just gonna kind of press it in to my skin so it dries a little bit better and it really, really gets in there. Once you're done with your whole skin routine, you just need to take a warm, wet cloth and wipe off the serum from the jade roller and then let it dry, stick it back in the fridge. Don't stick it back in the fridge, but it's going to remain cold regardless. So I'm done pressing in that serum. Now I finally just need to moisturize. I've got a new moisturizer. It's not new to the moisturizing world. It's just the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, not the lotion. So literally so many people have recommended using this and they're like, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's made the biggest difference. And I kind of feel the same way. I don't know what it is, but like my skin just feels refreshed and amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so cooling. I also didn't mention that I got my Jade Roller just off of Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I think mine was 11 or $12. There's definitely some that are a lot more expensive than that, but it honestly, gets the job done. I'll also link all of the products that I mentioned and showed in this video. So that concludes my little acne update, my little skin tutorial to help my scars. I think this hairstyle is so cute. I used to wear it a lot when I had super, super long hair, but I don't know, do I look like a toddler? I think I might. Anyway, 
Thank you all so, so, so much. Okay, I'm not a cheerleader for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Also, go ahead and comment if you've ever tried jade rolling or if you want to try it because it's definitely changed my skin life. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you next time.